We are going to look at both idealistic and practical use of Stack Overflow during technical interviews. Everyone thinks of Stack Overflow in a very different way. Pretty much every developer in every company uses Stack Overflow sometime or the other. Now, let's say the recruiter says no to using Stack Overflow. Does that mean you cannot leverage its benefits? That's not true. There is a way in which you can leverage the benefits of Stack Overflow during your interview process. This is what I did. Hello everyone, welcome to PyLemin. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of the most opinionated questions of all time. Can you use Stack Overflow during your technical interviews? A lot of you have put down comments on my YouTube videos asking me this question. And truth be told, I myself have pondered about it a lot of times. Is it really ethical to use Stack Overflow during your technical interview? Does it really show what skill you have when you are using Stack Overflow to answer a question that is asked by a recruiter? Now, in order to find an answer to this question, before I made this video, I talked to a lot of my developer friends, I talked to a lot of my recruiter friends, and to be honest, my conclusion was that it is highly subjective. Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone thinks of Stack Overflow in a very different way. Some think it is very useful, some think it's, it is actually a bane on the software developers because now software developers don't learn anything. They just find some arbitrary logic and build a hack it kind of a solution using the logic on Stack Overflow. Also, some recruiters think that using Stack Overflow shows that you don't have too much confidence on your skills. Now, to be honest, all of them are right. So today, in this video, we are going to look at both idealistic and practical use of Stack Overflow during technical interviews. Truth be told, pretty much every developer in every company uses Stack Overflow sometime or the other because it has become such an enriched website that there is a great chance you are going to find a solution to your problem or even if you don't find your solution, you will find a certain approach that can help you solve the problem. So, if the developers working in the company are using Stack Overflow, why should we refrain the candidates from using Stack Overflow to get into the company? It is because during a technical interview round, the recruiter is not only testing your programming skills or software development skills. They are interested in knowing how you are approaching the problem. If you get stuck somewhere, how do you find your way out of that issue? How do you come to a solution? What is the best practice that you use while writing those code? So all these factors play a very important role in your coding interview challenges. Therefore, don't think for a minute that recruiters are only looking for accuracy in your code. They're looking for a lot of things. And you have to prove yourself that you are well suited to be part of the company and the developer group who is working there already and you can be a good addition to the team. Now, before we jump into this, let's try to look at this question in a different way. Let's try to rephrase it. Suppose you are allowed to use Stack Overflow. Do you think that guarantees you that you are going to clear the technical round? The answer is no. It doesn't guarantee you. Because the format of the coding interview could be really anything. It could be multiple choice question. The recruiter might be interested in asking you how you approach the problem. Let's say you get stuck somewhere. The recruiter might be interested to know how you find your way out of that issue. You know, you might be asked to draw your algorithm on a whiteboard before you actually solve the problem. Because sometimes it's not necessary that you actually solve a question during the interview. What matters the most is how you approach the problem, what is your coding standard as in what practice do you follow and does it fit the other developers present in the company or not. Also from time perspective, a lot of coding interview challenges are timed. So basically you have let's say 60 minutes or 90 minutes to solve two or three coding interview questions. If you start looking for your questions on Stack Overflow and you don't get an answer, you will be wasting a lot of time. A lot of time that you can actually use to find an answer yourself, you know. So practically also, it's not really enough. Stack Overflow is not really enough for you to find uh, an answer to a question and eventually clear the coding interview round. So remember this. Just because there is a website called Stack Overflow, it's not the medicine to all your problems. 
you have to be good in the tools that you have put down in your resume you have to know their basics properly you have to be critical about the question and try to solve them in a, in the best way possible and you have to be efficient with your time think what you are doing how you are doing and why you are doing if you get those three things right it doesn't matter whether you use stack overflow or not you will still have a very good chance of clearing the technical round now let's dive into the question whether you can or you cannot use stack overflow during your technical interviews before that a distinction needs to be made on the different types of technical rounds for example a technical round could be that a company invites you to their own office and you are asked for a one on one interview where you are given a problem and you are asked to solve it and the recruiter is there uh, chatting with you asking you your approach to solving the problem what kind of issues you are facing how can you solve it better and stuff like that nowadays that process also happens over the internet there are online ides right now that companies like amazon google are using where uh, both you and your recruiter are there on skype or some other uh, ap application and then he asks you questions and uh, you are supposed to program on the ideal and he can also see your answers there are also interviews where companies send you a codeility test or a hacker rank test where basically you have a url and you try to solve the questions provided through that url in a particular amount of time sitting at home so no one is basically looking at you right now in the first two scenarios which are basically the same you are in direct communication with the recruiter in one case you are directly sitting opposite to him in the other case you are sitting somewhere else but you are connected through internet in that situation it completely depends on the question and the position you are applying for let me give an example let's say you are applying for a python developer position and you are asked to solve the fizzbuzz problem now the recruiter explains to you what the fizzbuzz problem is and you have to write the best python code possible to impress the recruiter that you have a deep understanding of python in that scenario if you ask him or her whether you can use stack overflow that would be a very bad sign why because it is completely an if else clause problem you know if a number is divisible by 3 you print fizz if a number is divisible by 5 you print buzz if a number is divisible by 15 you print fizz buzz right there if you start googling saying how to solve fizz buzz problem in python on stack overflow then it would really create a bad impression on the recruiter because he is looking for a python developer position you are applying for a python developer position you should be able to write this simple if else clause and solve this fizzbuzz problem without any help you know had it been a different sort of a question for example let's say the recruiter wants you to solve the bubble sort problem so bubble sort is basically an algorithm there you say hey i don't know about bubble sort can i look it over and then implement it with python that is okay in my opinion that should be fine with the recruiter because okay you are not aware of all the algorithms out there you are just looking up what the bubble sort algorithm is and then you will implement it in python so that part you can look over in stack overflow you you can look it over in other websites then when you implement it in python that should be okay with the recruiter so in that case it is okay to use something like stack overflow so here you are actually clarifying your doubt you you don't know a certain thing you are clarifying it and then you are using that knowledge to implement your python code let's now talk about the third scenario basically when you have codeility or hacker rank test delivered to you via your email and then you have to solve them within certain time restrictions now first thing these companies like codeility and hacker rank have become really intelligent they already have intelligence built into their system where they can easily see if you have copied a code from somewhere else or not so let's say by any chance if you actually find the same question on stack overflow and you just copy paste it they are easily going to know whether you have written it yourself or you have uh, copied it from somewhere else and that is not really a good sign so even if no one is looking at you it's not really uh, easy to fake that you uh, you know everything without actually trying to solve it so don't do that don't fall into that trap okay if you are looking on stack overflow it's fine 
but still try to approach it properly. Here is an important question. Are you going to ask the recruiter whether you should use Stack Overflow or not? Because that could have a very bad impact on your interview process. Now, drawing from my own experience, the truth is you should always be honest. If you are asking something like this to the recruiter, he might have a different opinion about it, but at least he will know that you are honest and you are humble. You know you are telling him that you don't know something, yet you are ready to look for solutions. So you are proactive in searching for solutions to problems that you don't know. So this is a good sign. Here is the thing, not everyone is subjective about it. I got pretty much 50-50 reactions from everyone. So there are people who love Stack Overflow, there are people who don't like Stack Overflow. There are people who are okay with their candidates using Stack Overflow, there are people who are not okay with their candidates using Stack Overflow. So don't be, don't think for a moment that you only face recruiters who are not okay with using Stack Overflow. If you want to have external help during your interview process, be honest with them. Ask them if you can look for it on Stack Overflow or on Google, you know, whatever they say, do accordingly and try to convince them that you are an honest person. Sure, you can be a gifted developer, but honesty and humility are also some things that uh, recruiters are really interested to look for in candidates. Now, let's say the recruiter says no to using Stack Overflow. Does that mean you cannot leverage its benefits? That's not true. There is a way in which you can leverage the benefits of Stack Overflow during your interview process. This is what I did. Now, I was applying for a data engineering position. I used to look at Stack Overflow every day, 10 times, 15 times a day. I still do now. You know, what I do is every time I look at something, look at a question, I see whether it is something I can remember for a long time or not. I see whether this question is so uh, complicated and is, has so much information that I might need a second look uh, two, three days later or a week later. So what I do is I use an app called as Pocket and I save that uh, web page to the Pocket app. So every time I come across a Stack Overflow question that requires more time than five, 10 minutes, I usually save it to the Pocket app and I go through it later. Just one day before my interview, I went through all those saved pages on the pocket application on all those Stack Overflow questions and I refreshed my memory on those questions. So basically the things that are very small and I know I can remember the second I see the solution, I ignore them. I uh, use that solution, I practice it, I try to implement it my own way and I make sure that I expertise that solution. And solutions that are complicated to understand, for example, theoretical solutions or a big algorithm that requires more in-depth knowledge about it. Those questions, I save it to my pocket application and every time I'm free or every time I was going for a technical interview, I used to refresh my memory, jog myself through the same lane and try to understand it even better. That way. I am completely afresh with all the important questions that I feel I have saved over the last 2-3 years and those things can be really helpful during your interview. So even if you can't use Stack Overflow directly, you can still have a lot of its benefits by uh, using it in a wise manner. So I hope this video gave you a perspective on whether you can use Stack Overflow or not during your techni technical interview. The short solution is you can but it depends on the question. However, technical interviews are to test the aptitude of the person. So try to show that you are independent. Try to show that you can find your way out of a problem yourself without anybody's help. This is something that will really impress your recruiter. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.